Hello everyone, I'm Shahul. I'm co-founder CEO of Memoneet, uh, the only line by line NCRT app in the planet. Okay. So now uh, today's topic is the best books for need preparation. Okay. So I'm going to cover in a detailed way, uh, which are the best books, you know, you can choose to study and what are the, what you not to do, do when you choose the books. Okay. What not to do when you choose these books. Okay. So without wasting much time, we will get into the topic. So now uh, all of us know that uh, NEET is the fourth toughest exam in India and the NEET aspirant is always searching for the best books and always to find these books it is always a problem. When you search for the best books, the NCRT books, you know, find a clear way to the top. So the NCRT books of class 11 and 12 are the best sources to prepare for the exam and almost 90% of the NEET exam comes from NCRT books. So NCRT books are reliable for NEET exams because they cover all fundamental concepts and topics easily so that, you know, you have the firm grasp of the concepts and then the probability of securing admission in a medical college increases if you just follow NCRT as a Bible. So that's my best suggestion. So let's further get into the topic. So first of all, we'll talk about biology. So the biology sec uh, section in the NEET exam uh, holds 360 marks out of 720 which is about 50 percent and it contains 90 questions so it is evident that need aspirant should focus more on this section and build their concepts right and the section involves questions from botany and zoology and the candidate must be strong in both the subjects and uh, the first like for biology like without any doubt ncrt books are the first um, first priority like you should have every line of ncrt memorized on your memory every terminology every line the meaning of it the understanding of it it's very important ncrt okay and also the biology is very important and also critical at times because if you get good marks in physics and chemistry and if you just lose marks in biology it's uh, your score will be very less. So it's very critical to score good marks in biology. And it is also a, a, like a bonus, right? It is also easy. Like doing it the best would help you to maximize your overall score. And the next book to suggest after NCRT books is the objective based question approach. Truman's objective biology, right? So the reason why I suggest Truman's objective biology is if you read just NCRT books, uh, there might be some concepts which are just, you know, sailed over in NCRT. They, they've not been spoken about deeply about the topic, but if you get into Truman's bi objective biology, then it will help you to, you know, dwell into the topic a bit. And uh, that will help you to answer some indirect questions which are actually from NCRT in need, but it will not look as if it's from NCRT, right? Some in-depth conceptual questions. So it will be easy for you to answer those questions if you follow Truman's objective biology as well. And the physics books, uh, let's come to physics. And physics, obviously, the questions in the exam are both numerical based and conceptual. And uh, you have electrostatics, electromagnetism and mechani mechanics, which are like more numerical. So therefore, to do deal with the physics section, students must be excellent in both the domains, like solving numerical problems and also answering conceptual questions, right? So physics has 180 marks and it has 45 questions. So strengthen your physics concepts by... Uh, using HC Verma. I would suggest you to uh, have NCRT book and HC Verma together. So whatever topic you read from the NCRT book, also cover them from HC Verma and solve the problems from HC Verma. So that will actually help you to conceptually be strong in physics and also like problems of general physics by I.E. Aerodo. Okay, I will suggest that, that books as well because it solves some classic questions which are asked in NEET exam. So now when you study in NCRT, you cover HC Burma and also solve the problems from Erodo. So the more problem you solve in a single concept, the more you become confident in that particular topic or that particular concept. And at some point of time, you will never even have to, you know, like worry about physics because whatever problem they ask in the exam, you have already solved the type in one of these books because it's not going to come completely outside from these books, right? So cover a concept in NCRT have it see Verma and also solve the problem from IE I don't know. So that's that's for me from physics. Okay. And then chemistry. Chemistry is comparatively easy than physics. And the chemistry section of the need exam consists of 45 questions that hold 180 marks. For securing good marks in chemistry, the student must be outstanding in organic, inorganic and physical. So for these three, organic, inorganic and physical, the strategy is going to be different. For organic, always practice. Practice is the first importance for organic. Okay, like keep practicing the equations, keep practicing the formula. And then inorganic revise. 
So for organic, practice inorganic revise. Keep reading it. Keep practicing questions. Revise inorganic chemistry. And for physical chemistry, it's very vast. So it's not. it will not be very easy if you try to memorize the whole physical chemistry. So develop the concepts. Read it like a story. Relate with each other. Make mind maps and develop the concept for physical chemistry. For the three sections of chemistry, there are three different strategies. To follow these strategies in the best way, the rec recommended books are NCRT, obviously. And the second book, which I would uh, I would suggest, is Modern Approach to Chemistry by R. C. Mukherjee. So that book actually solves the conceptual, you know, like conceptual topics which are in NCRT as well. So if you get deep into the concept, then it will be easy for you to remember physical chemistry and inorganic in a very easy way because it's really vast, like biology. Okay, and uh, is there just books which helps us for NEET exam? Uh, there are also some apps that help you for NEET examination, right? If you take biology, so biology is a very critical se se section, as I said before. But after the study sessions in the books, you can also practice in some excellent apps, right? One such app is Memonite. So the thing unique about the Memonite app is it has line by line questions from, you know, NCRT. And every line of NCRT is covered into interactive um, conceptual questions where you can, if you practice those questions, you don't even have to read NCRT again because most of the time it's boring to read the same NCRT book again and again, right? And sometimes you might assume that you know a topic and you will skip it while re revising and uh, there could be one single line which you forget in, and that single line will exactly appear as a question in the exam and you will lose marks. So it is always good to practice for a revision of biology, right? Right? And also, like there is also a technique called as I repeat technology in Memonit, where what happens is if you read a question today, if you practice a question today, there are two options, right? Whether you can get it right or whether you can get it wrong. So if you get it right, so Memonit, what will do is these questions, it will put it in the pattern where it will come to revision in less number of times the same question. And if you get it wrong, it will make it appear very frequently so that you will obviously get it right after practicing the question you got wrong for so many number of times so so please try memo neat and uh, i don't think any other app has line by line questions from ncrt biology and they haven't even missed like i very it's very easy okay so if you use memo neat biology is like the game changer so try using memo neat and uh, coming to the conclusion Approach the NEET exam. To approach the NEET exam, the NCRT books are very important. So don't go out of the NCRT books, but grasp the other books as well. Don't uh, avoid the other books as well, because if you take subject like physics, if you just focus on NCRT, there might be some topics which you might not cover. Okay, so then some problem or some numerical problems you might not be able to solve in the examination if you just follow NCRT books. Okay, so don't modify your approach according to mark distribution. Like don't give special focus to any specific subject but um, uh, build your concepts and keep practicing your questions daily and give the mock test and revise the topics and it will finally take you towards your goal and i wish all the best to all the neat 2022 aspirants and please check out memo neat you will never regret it thank you you have a great day